Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're discussing the chin-up. So yesterday we talked about the pull-up and today I wanna introduce the chin-up with, with the understanding that it's pretty much the same thing. I don't really care about your grip too much. If one feels better, do that one, that's fine. But make sure you're doing it effectively, right? So the same rules apply. I need to make sure that I'm finishing with the bar on my chest and I'm not over finishing like this because then I'm using my back to finish, my like spine to finish, not really my upper back muscles to finish the row. Um, with the chin up, I'm getting a little bit more arm here. So if, you know, big arms is kind of my purpose or big biceps is kind of my purpose and who's, who's isn't it, <laughs> right? Um, this, this chin up variation is a good way to kind of stress that a little bit more. When I have the pull up variation with the wider or with the overhand grip, I'm going to, you know, tends to widen my grip rather than doing this. Like this is kind of a, a slightly more narrow, a little bit more arm centric, uh, pulling variation, pull up variation. Uh, and then when my palms are forward, facing forward like this, I'm getting a little bit more lat, right? It puts more stress on the back and those back muscles. So if your goal is big lats, uh, maybe more of that breadth, you might want to look into doing the pull up. But today we're going to discuss the chin up and run through how to do that effectively. If maybe you're looking at it from a more uh, arm centric kind of training exercise. All right, everyone, let's demonstrate the chin up today. So <laughs> welcome to the shed again. Um, if you watched the pull up video, you you're familiar with the shed already. Uh, and I did some other videos on hanging, which we use the shed for. It's a nice way to position the shoulders for different pull ups and push ups and handstand progressions. Um, watch those videos. There's kind of a bunch. They're, they're good ab exercises if you need more to choose from. Now we're talking about the chip. So I'm generally starting my normal width is about a shoulder width grip like this. And then from there, it's just the same as the pull up, right? I'm initiating shoulders first and then letting my elbows follow after. Making sure at the top that I'm not letting my shoulders roll forward like this. I'm bringing my shoulders away from the bar like this. It helps me feel my upper back muscles driving the pull up. It helps prevent <laughs> the door from closing on me. It helps prevent my shoulders from rolling forward, losing that position, losing some of my mobility. It helps keep my neck not quite as tight. And most importantly, it helps me train the muscles that I'm trying to train, right? It gives me the upper back and the lat muscles that I'm trying to train here. Again, we talked about the, the chin up a little bit more for your bicep than maybe the uh, pull up is, though it's involved in both. We're just kind of switching the ratios of involvement. Um, but that's the chin up.